Hey, what's up everybody? Ramey here and today what we're talking about is cleaning your bumper plates. Um, so these are some Rogue Fleck plates, um, 45s, and over the last like two to three years, they basically, the color really started to fade away. Um, not only did they fade, it just, it, the plate almost started to look black. You could no longer really see this blue. Even when I was like this close, I could barely tell that there was any blue color on this plate. And I knew it just needed a really good cleaning. Um, because this is in my garage. First of all, rubber tends to fade. We've all heard of rubber bloom, which is like the white like film that comes over rubber. That happens to all rubber. rubber. Um, it's in my garage, so we've got pollen, we've got dirt, and just all kinds of things. And just being in a gym, you get dust. So I knew the place just needed a really good cleaning. Um, and now I'll show you like the before and after picture, um, so you can kind of see the comparison. I'll do that after I talk about how I cleaned them. Um, but I started to do some research, how do I clean them? Um, There's lots of suggestions online. I didn't really think that just soap and water would do the best job. Um, I've, I've heard from some people that olive oil worked. I've tried that before and it, it actually did nothing. Um, olive oil did not work to clean my plates at all. So I just wanted something like non-toxic. But um, I decided I would just go, I, there were two options that seemed like most people had said that they really worked well, and those options were silicone and uh, rubber cleaner. So I went to Lowe's and they had both silicone and they had wheel and tire cleaner. And I just decided, you know what, it was cheap, I, this was like $8. I'm gonna pick up some wheel and tire cleaner because it's specifically made for rubber and like grime and dirt and stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna give it a go. So I got this, it was like $8 at Lowe's. This is Turtle Wax Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Um, I honestly think that any kind of rubber or tire cleaner is gonna work perfectly and do this. Um, I've heard silicone works, that I have not tested. I gave it a go, basically what you do is I sprayed this on my bumper for 30, let it sit foam for 30 seconds and spray it off with a hose and that's literally it. Um, huge, massive difference between my bumper plates. Let me pull up the before and after picture and compare them side by side so you can get a quick glance. Yeah, I mean, as you can see on the screen, it's just a total big difference between the two plates. Um, it really brightened them up. Um, so much so that when I keep walking in my gym now, I'm like, oh my gosh, my blue plates are bright and clean now. Um, so it's a pretty big difference and something I totally recommend when your plates start to look a little funky and dirty and you just want to like brighten them up. Um, I don't know if it'll matter for certain colors, but like for blue is one of the colors where it really does matter. And as far as like what kind of tire and wheel cleaner, this is Turtle Wax. I honestly think any single brand that you get from the store is going to be just fine. I mean, we're just basically looking for a nice cleaner that gets rid of, takes oil, grease, and all kinds of stuff off something. And, and is designed and cleans rubber, doesn't like eat rubber. <laughs> so any rubber cleaner is going to be fine. Uh, but I'd go ahead and give it a go. Uh, give your plates a clean, see what it looks like, and let me know how it turns out. Later, everybody.